So, did you find a couple of blokes have got your back? Actually, I did. Great. Are you ready to move forward then? Remember, once you make this decision, you can't go back and change your mind. Besides, there's no time for that with your championship deadline approaching, so you better be absolutely certain. I like the faction I've put together. It's the right group of guys to help neutralize Shawn Michaels and my old crew, so I can take down Slade. I hope you're right, for your sake. Lucian has arrived in style to Monday Night Raw. Whoa! Evolution's getting ambushed. They were not expecting this. Oh, into the side of the limo. There's broken glass everywhere. We've heard rumors that a new faction was forming to take on Evolution. This must be it. And Braun Breakers tossed headfirst into the limo. This is pure chaos. Not so fun now that I've evened up the sides, is it? I'm coming for this title, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Now what? I think they're gonna flip over the limo. This is insane. Talk about making an impact. Evolution, Shawn Michaels, and all of WWE for that matter has been put on notice. I can't believe this group that's been assembled. This next month is going to be very interesting. So far, so good. I knew you'd make a great leader. Also, I'm enjoying a new bus. I could get used to this. Don't get too comfortable. If things don't work out for me, the bus goes along with everything else. Fair enough. Well, more motivation, I guess. You think you're ready for the big match later tonight? We already dominated them once tonight. The match will just be more of the same. I like your confidence, but don't get carried away. You have to expect Shawn Michaels is gonna strike back. Be careful. We got this. The hottest new faction in WWE is ready for their in-ring debut. The following is a six-man tag team match. With the limo beat down in the rearview mirror, here comes Evolution. And their opponents at a combined weight. After a stunning attack earlier tonight that sent shockwaves through WWE, the former lock leaves his two new allies against his previous faction in a dramatic three-on-three -three match. You hear that, Cole? That's the sound of the SummerSlam deadline getting closer and closer. The new faction leader can't afford to lose any ground against Evolution. And I bet Slade and company would love nothing more than to crush their former teammates' momentum. Not to mention, pay him back for that little visit in the parking garage. And down! Slade can't find a way off the blocks. Slade's toughness needs to kick in here. There he goes, right into the corner. Counters with an attack on Breaker. Tough position to be caught in here. Your perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. And that looked like a terrible landing. That might have caused some serious issues. We'll have to see what happens. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Oh, big back body 
drop. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Braun's finally able to slow down that incoming offense. Yeah, Breaker's survival instincts are taking over. with evolution. Unbelievable! Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Or, in this case, two of the most powerful factions in WWE. I mean, just when you thought you had evened up the sides, we were two steps ahead. So, good luck winning the championship saving your career now. And the WWE Champion nails the Slade Runner! Evolution started this night on their heels, but now we end the night looking at a brand new super group led by Shawn Michaels, more powerful than anything we've ever seen before. You have to feel for the former Locke, who looked to have captured momentum in his quest to win gold and remain in WWE, but now he's suffered a major setback. Let's be real, guys. This is more than a setback. It's a career-ending roadblock. And we've seen him overcome long odds before, but I agree, this does not look good. <sighs> a tough night out there. We'll catch up back at the bus. <clears throat> what do you want? Just came to check on you and let you know that it's over. <laughs> you lost. It's not over yet. I still have time. Maybe. But how do you think you're going to get another WWE Championship match? I hold all the cards. I have a proposal. Next week, I'll take on someone from your new super group. If I win, I get a title match at SummerSlam with a chance to beat the deadline. And if you lose? Then we can forget about the deadline. I'll leave WWE immediately. So, basically, if things go our way, <laughs> and they will, I can get rid of you sooner than I planned? I like the sound of that. You have yourself a deal. So who am I gonna face next week? Let's keep that a surprise. But I will give you a heads up on one thing. The match 
is going to be no disqualification. So good luck stopping us. It's the superstar who's fighting for his life in WWE. The following is scheduled for After an inspirational return to WWE, the former Locke is risking everything to keep his dreams of a WWE Championship match alive against Braun Breaker. Call it a cliche, but the stakes are absolutely through the roof. A no disqualification match with no future in WWE if he can't break the Breaker? On the flip side, if he can't find a way to beat the big man, the former Locke will earn his long-awaited title match against Slade with a chance to beat the deadline at SummerSlam. What a night. Something here. Oh, hey. Battling ringside, no announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Ron avoids the attack. Toss. Nasty knee. Directly to the chest. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. He returns to the ring. Chair to the gut, softening him up. Braun's opponent is taking advantage of this no disqualification match. Shawn Michaels is here to also take advantage of the lack of rules. Michaels is calling in the cavalry. This is going to be a repeat of last week. How can anyone stop this super group? But where are they? That's one way to stop them. Have your faction take them out before they can get to you. Smart move by their leader, but can he capitalize and win this match? Randy Orton's here and he has no idea. Low blow for Morton. The Vipers lining up an RKO. And just a reminder, this is all perfectly legal. Wait, what? Where did he come from? That's international star Chosen. It looks like the former lock had an ace up his sleeve. But Braun Breaker is recovered, yes. and he's got a kendo stick. But he reverses. Now he's battering Braun Breaker <laughs> repeatedly with that kendo stick. Wait, is he setting up Braun Breaker for his own move? And he locks it in with the kendo stick. Can Braun Breaker hold on? He can't. Braun tapped. It's over. And more importantly, he lives to fight another day and will take on Slade for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. Somehow he found a way to pull this out, and now he has an opportunity to strike before the championship or bust deadline expires. We'll see about that. But Shawn Michaels and company can't be pleased with how this turned out. They thought they were putting this all to an end, and instead, the fate of this man and the WWE Championship will be decided at SummerSlam. Big win out there, but bloody hell, you didn't think to tell me about Chosen? I thought about it, but then I also thought it'd be more fun to pull a Tavish on you. Not the same. You don't know how to do it, Tavish. Either way, I couldn't risk it getting out. We needed any advantage we could get against them. Well, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I have a message from WWE management. What does Shawn Michaels have to say for himself now? No, not Shawn. This came directly from the top. All this faction warfare has been big for ratings, so they want to see it continue. There will be a faction versus faction match to determine who gets to pick your stipulation at SummerSlam. Our side against Shawn's. War Games. 
We've already been in a battle. I guess now, it's time to go to war. Did you see I'm the number one trending topic? What a WWE debut for Chosen. Yeah, that's great. But more importantly, you helped me live to fight another day. So thank you. Well, I've been watching you get beaten up so much, and you seem so desperate. When you reached out asking for help, that it was kind of a no-brainer to come save you. Yeah. Well, thanks again, I guess. Anyway, I don't know if you heard what Tavish said. I was standing five feet from him. Of course I had. Your two of us is kind of small, actually. Noted. Point is, I need one more team member for the War Games match. You interested in sticking around? Of course. Have to keep the buzz going on social media. And to help you too. Alright. Let's do this. The following is a minute. War Games match! The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the war... Every war needs a hero, and you might be looking at him. It's the former lock. He's the WWE Champion, and he's ready for war. It's slain. I didn't think it was possible, but the road to SummerSlam keeps getting hotter and hotter, adding explosive twists and turns every week. And incredible athletes like Japanese phenom Chosen, who's suiting up alongside the former lock tonight in one of the most anticipated War Games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All's fair in love and war games, Saxton. Both foursomes are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match's stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. Come on, oh, Breaker. Oh, this isn't pretty. Takedown. And Slade can't find a way off the blocks. Slade's toughness needs to kick in here. Good golly. Utilizing his power and tossing him across the rings. And that failed to hit the mark. It's about to be an uphill battle for one team once this clock hits zero. He's returning fire. Shoulder tackle. Being let loose to surely become the tide turner for their team. And the knee. As if the numbers advantage wasn't enough, looking under the ring for a weapon now. And he sends him into the corner, fighting back with a counter. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Toss. To the jaw. Good night. And now the pressure's mounting on him. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back's being negated. Numbers advantage or not, he's leaving nothing to chance as he searches under the apron. Setting up the table. He's done playing around. Entering the ring and 
assessing the situation. Oh no, he's in the line of danger now. You can't find the defense for this. Getting carried. Short for thinking. Oh! And seconds left before the eyes are opened here. Nice play, man. Wait a second. He's going up the wall. The extreme war games mentality is taking over. Got to minimize the damage now. Go help your teammates immediately. And he had Riddle scouted. Dominating shoulder tackle. Stepping into total anarchy. He'll be ready for anything. Oh, what a drop kick. Sit down, power bomb. Oh, it's ripped away. He was elusive there. Nice clothesline. Electric chair. Driver. <laughs> nice takedown. Send him clear into the other ring. Sending him all the way over to the next ring. And in just a moment, the numbers advantage set to come into play. Come, looking to give their team the upper hand as soon as possible. Oh, and a chunk slam. Toast them across the ring. <laughs> Things are no longer about to be even in this one, and he wants to make sure of that. Oh, what a leaping stomp. And now, officially in the fray. It pays to be coming in and have more friends than foes in the cage. to the hard landing into the other ring.
Timer's almost up. This next set. Don't do it!